Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to change the handles on your Kingpin center pin reel. So the one that I have here is a R2 525, which is a five and a quarter inch um, diameter. So I'm going to show you how to uh, release these handles and put on your new pair that I got. So they're going to be these red ones that are going to match my real seat on my new float wrap. All right, so first thing is we need to remove the center screw. And I do this by using a, uh, a Canadian five cents coin, which fits perfectly in there. And I've already unscrewed it a little bit just to get it going. Once you get that going, just use your fingers to um, remove it. Okay, take very great care of your screw because you don't want to lose it. So set it aside. And now you can remove, it, remove the spool from the base. There you go. That's pretty easy. So basically now you have to turn over the spool and you will see these screws that are uh, below each of the handles, okay? So what you're gonna be using for that is a uh, simple Allen key. So make sure you get yourself a set of Allen keys, but basically you, all you need is a uh, number two metric. So make sure you have that uh, handy. out of the way all right so what are we gonna do now is simply put it in the uh, screw and give it a little twist and you'll see that it starts going so as it goes keep turning So once you got it going a little bit, you can just place your index finger and start turning the other way around. It's going to be easier than uh, keep turning the little Allen, Allen key. So that's how it's done. And at the same time, we're going to have the opportunity to see how this handle is assembled. So what you got is three components. Is you have the handle itself. Actually four components because there is a center screw inside. So these are the main components you have. So when replacing this with another handle, all you need to do is take that inner inner screw, place it inside like so, and then put this cap like so. And your screw is gonna go from inside the spool inwards so all right so you flip the spool again you put the screw inside a hole like so put your index finger to block it to stop prevent it from moving oops take your handle assembly you've done to change bring it in and start turning just like so. Okay. Once you cannot go more, then you use your under index finger, keep it pressure, and then just simply use the Allen key there to tighten it up. Okay. 
Don't overpressure the screw. There's really no need to. So you can see it here. All right, so we're gonna do the second one just the same way. And basically uh, that's how you would uh, change the, uh, the handle. Okay, great. Now we got our boat handles on our spool. So the process of putting everything back together is very, very simple. But before you put everything uh, back together, you may want to inspect your bearings, see if you need to put any lubricants or any, do any additional cleanups because you have everything that's open right now and uh, doing any kind of real maintenance on the water is um, it's a very risky operation. So make sure that any kind of maintenance you're doing, you're doing it at home or in an environment where you won't be able to lose some of these uh, key components, get uh, or get sand or different uh, debris inside your, uh, your reel. So yeah, let's put this one back together. So basically just align the two axes and go ahead, it should sit on its own. See, it's already spinning without any problems. And you're bringing that center screw Put it in and that's it so yeah try to do as much as you can with your fingers and then get your uh, get your preferred coin and that's it this is how you change the handles on a kingpin flow reel all right Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, fish on.